Hello, I am Panos Kodzathanasis, and this is ASEAN Movie Pulse Interviews. Today I am here with Miss Momoko Fukada, whose film You Are Lit is, will be screening in Short Shorts Film Festival in Asia, and uh, with DJ John, who will be our translator for today. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Okay, so first question. Uh, why did you decide to adapt uh, Kanako Nishi's novel, and why a short and not a feature film? I know. First, the question is, why did Kanako Nishi Kanako's novel, which is the base of the story, why did you decide to make a short film? Can you tell me about it? Yes. 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 So it's this started really to、um, include one of the、uh, main characters,、uh, Ms. Uraji,、uh, into some sort of film. And、uh, she just wanted to make a film with her. That's how the whole project began, actually. Hi. Uraji san ga ichiban subarashiku mieru. 作品は何だろうと考えたときに、私は西かな子さんの小説が大好きでもう超リスペクトしてて、うん、ずっと撮ってみたい小説だったんで、今だって思いました。So she wanted to find something where she could show on the screen how, how wonderful and appealing、uh, Miss Uraji is, and she's been a big fan of.、Um, Uh, Nissan's、uh, stories and her writing for a long time. And then she realized that this would be the best opportunity and the right story to show、um, her, her,、uh, her good friend and the star to show Ms. Uraji. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And、um, okay, the film is a lot,、uh, I felt, about feminism. So, can she give us some details about the feminist movie movement in Japan, and also why are short hair and、uh, unsaved armpits considered a form of resistance? That's a, <laughs> very interesting. Then, first, ah, ma, Nihon ni okeru, so no, ma, feminism. のムーブメントとかについてちょっとあの教えていただきたいし、でなんであのいわゆるあの脇の下のあの毛があの脇毛そ,のそういうしょしょそう脇毛がそのあのフェミニズムの象徴になるのか教えてください。<笑>はい。日本におけるフェミニズムがうんすごく活発運動が活発になってきたのはまあすごい昔からやっていたけど。ここ本当5年ぐらいで若い女性たちの意識がものすごく変わった。それは多分ハリウッドの MeToo も大きな原因にはなってると思うけど、やっぱ今まで生きてきて、私たちなんでこんな生きにくいんだろうっていうのが、あれこれって社会のせいかなって、みんなやっぱ目に見えてそれを発信できるようになった。多分それは Twitter だったり Instagram だったり SNS の効果もすごく大きくて。あ私の生きづらさって、そうだ、これが原因だったんだ、この社会が原因だったんだってことでみんな気づいて発言できるようになったっていうのは、今の日本のフェミニズムがすごくうん活発になった原因かなと思ってます。はい、ありがとうございます。So, right now,、um, yes,、yeah, so th there has been feminism in Japan for quite a while, but especially in these last five years,、um, especially with the younger females in Japan, it's become More, more active, so to speak. And of course,、uh, perhaps the Me Too movement also might have something to do with it as well. But also, the other big factor is um, um, social networking, is another big factor. And so、um, they become to realize why is it so hard in, to live in this society here in Japan for females? And that became a very big question among the younger、uh, generation of females who are now、um, really, really become active,、uh, especially in the last five years, thanks to social media platforms like、uh, Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. うーん分かると思うんですけど、電車とかとにかく街を歩いていてこう、女性に対する脇を脱毛しようという広告がめちゃくちゃ多いんですよね。これって多分海外では見られない光景で
うん、まあ、女性に対してのメッセージが社会が発してるメッセージが絶対に毛をなくせということが日本ではめちゃくちゃ大きな、うん、負荷になってて女性たちにとって。で、えー、とその象徴である脇毛を見せる女性が見せてしかもダンスしてパフォーマンスすることでこう社会からの抑圧を払いのけるぞっていう意味を込めて脇毛を見せてます。So, as far as the、uh, armpit hairs go, e s、um, a, a lot of the、uh, tourists and visitors who come to Japan may have seen that there are advertisements and billboards all over Japan about、um, getting rid of body hairs, body hairs. That's become it's a thing here, and especially for females. So, it's just something that's kind of forced upon the females by society and consumerism. And so,、um, why? Does it have to be this way? Is something else that the women are starting to think. And, and for、um, Fukuda director,、um, it's her way of showing、uh, how to fight against this kind of conception that women have to have clean、uh, you know, armpits and, and no hair、uh, in certain parts of their body. So that's her way of rebelling against that societal kind of thinking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And、uh... In general,、uh, I hope this question is not offensive, but I would say that Japan is a patriarchic country and also somewhat a bit racist in the way that they don't accept different k i n d of people in any way. The next question is Japan is a patriarchic country and also somewhat a bit racist. その点にはどうでしょうそしてあの日本人はあの差別主義だと思いますか差別主義者<笑>と,いうと思いますかという質問です。あちなみにその質問の意図は何ですか、うん um, ?She would like to in,、um, kind of come back at you with what is your, why, why is it that you're asking these questions? What is your thinking behind asking this?、Uh, I, I thought that the movie kind of shows this. Like, for example, there is、uh, this scene in the restaurant when、uh, there is the girl that says essentially that she is gay, but the men in the table tell her that,、uh, okay, you are just doing that because to attract men to appear more sexy. So, this for me means that they don't accept、uh, homosexuals. So,、mm -hmm. I, from, from that, I got the whole other questions because. The men in that table they were expecting the girl just to you know, find a boyfriend and get married and have children, which is a patriarchic notion. That is why I'm asking. I know, the restaurant no scene de, I know, Danjo, I know, 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 I 男を引き寄せるために言ってるだけで,でそれはまあどっちかって言ったらそのまあいわゆる男性社会っていうかあのそういうあのなんだって家父調整的な社会があるこそそういうことを言ってるんじゃないのっていうあのことが思いついてこれを聞いてること、はい、あオッ OK ですえっとそうですねそもそもこの映画はまあ、原作は西加奈子さんの小説ではあるけれど、えっと、10年前に書かれた小説なんですね。で10年前に書かれた小説を今映画化するということはやっぱ価値観が全然今と10年前と社会の価値観が違っていてで、えっと、映画化する時にはものすごく今起こっている物語にしようというのを意識しています。でそんな中でんこの映画に出てくる、まあ、全ての差別的な発言だったりうん、理解のない言葉だったりするのは私が、えー、生きてきて自分が発した言葉でもあるし受けた言葉でもあるというのを込めているのでで日本のやばい現状を言うとあの居酒屋レストランで行われている会話を差別だと思ってない人差別だとすら思ってない人がめちゃくちゃ多いというのが今の日本の現実だと私は思っています。So,、um, to start with, the、uh, original story by Nissan、uh, is from, she wrote that 10 years ago. 
And since then, of course, the uh, outlook and what's considered normal in Japanese society has really changed a lot. So she's kind of updated it with her own, through her own experiences as well, uh, some of the prejudice or the uh, um, oppression that she's sensed since then. And so um, the, the guys in, in, the, in the restaurant scene, the guys at the table, uh, where they show where they're really in, intolerance and they're like you say, their patriarchal thinking and you know, uh, male thinking um, was how she wanted to show the reality in Japan now that still exists with uh, that kind of uh, narrow minded thinking. So uh, that's how uh, um, she wanted to show that kind of prejudice that still exists here in Japan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And, uh... Okay, I am not sure about the, the concept of burning feet in the movie. I understood the movie, but I'm not sure what, what was that about. Maybe she can explain a bit. で、あの、その、えっと、映画の中で、あの、燃えてる足。はい。の、あの、なんですが、それは何かあの、作品に登場するあの、燃える足のコンセプトとか、なんかそれを出す考えは何かあるんですか? えっと、足が燃えている男性についてはうん、すごく足が燃えているということで分かりやすくなっているけれど、やっぱ様々な困難を抱えている人だったり、こう生きているだけで、うん、しんどい思いをしている人たちのすごく象徴であるというか、自分
、なんて言えばいいんだろうな、なんか本当に仲のいい人たち独特の、まあ、自分し例えば自分しか話していなかったであろう言葉を相手が知っていたとか、それがまあ口調、彼女たちにあったっては口調なんですけど、独特な。それを、それがあったから、2人はこんなにも、うーん。すごいあの仲良くっていうかなんだろうなフレンドシップを築くことができたのではないかという話をしていた時にあだからこそこの言葉遣いの2人なんだという必然性になっていいいい答えをもらったなと思いました So、uh, there's a little bit of that in the original、um, story of the original、um, novel as well or the, or the short story and、uh, The reason why they kind of act and talk like that, kind of,、um, you know, high tension and、um, overacting, if you want,、um, is because they have an understanding of each other because they talk like that. And they're, they're, that's why they're friends.、Uh, it's, not, it's the same language, plus, it's the same way of thinking、um, that are alike, and that brings them together. And、uh, um, there's also a uniqueness that brings them together. And so、um, they have a complete understanding of each other、uh, in that they both talk this way and they both act this way. So that was a big、uh, point in making them come together and become such deep, deep friends and partners. Mm -hmm. And、uh, was it difficult for them to act in that way for the actresses? I know, Koyu Engi Suruno, some of the study in Taish to a sway Muzukashi Koto that on the Shoka. I'm not Muzukashi, Nandarona, Hanashua Shimasha Kedo, do you tone they go come there? No, Hanashta Kedo, the Bostari to Mosuku Tskamunoga, Umakata. し結構日本に実際にああいう喋り方の人がいなくはないというかいわゆるオタク的な喋り方をする人とかってあれに近いトーンなんで多分イメージはしやすかったんだと思います。Um, not maybe that difficult. They did have discussions about it, of course, throughout the shoot. And, but they were really fast to catch on because one of the things about、um, Th these kind of people, there are actually these kind of people in Japan, what they call otaku, maybe, or、uh, mm -hmm. kind of like nerds. And、uh, so there was a lot of、um, base to catch on to and give them hints on how to、uh, perform and act this way. So it was really actually、uh, went kind of smoothly after they were able to discuss that kind of characterization. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. The film deals with、uh, serious subjects, but is essentially a comedy. So, does she feel that the comedy is、uh, a good way to communicate issues like that that they are portrayed in the movie? Well, so, the film is a very serious and 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 serious. <笑>私の中あまり自分人すごい人から言われる福田桃子作品の持ち味みたいなのがやっぱユーモアだってすごく言われることがあってえっ、ー、とまあ深刻なテーマを扱っていたとしてもユーモアでこう明るく見せることのできる監督だよねということをよく言われるんであそうなんだと思ってでもそれは西加奈子さんの影響がめちゃくちゃ大きくて。彼女もどんなに深刻なテーマでも絶対にすごい大笑いしてしまうような文章があったり明るい気持ちで読み終えることができたりするので彼女に憧れて映画作家の道を決めたこともあるのですごく影響を受けてます。So, um... Absolutely, yes.、Um, she thinks comedy is, is a very good way and an effective way to go through、um, heavy themes, if you will, or serious themes. And a lot of that is、um, thanks to the influence of the uh, author, uh, Nishi Kanako san, who is able to、um, write about serious themes, but you know, you, where you wind up laughing out loud at the end. And she was really, really influenced by, by Nishi san. So、uh, that's how she came about to, and even in Japan, um, um, Momoko uh, Fukuda, Fukuda 
um, director is thought of as being having a good sense of humor in her in her films, but even with serious themes and stories, she's able to bring out laughter and, and not make light of it, but use comedy to get the message through to uh, the people watching the movies. Mm -hmm. And uh, does she feel that cinema can really make a change in such issues, let's say, or in general? I know. まあ、いろいろ問題とか要素に影響を与えることはできると思います。うん。与えたいとは思っていますが、うん、まあ、社会にっていうより見た人の中でたった一人でもいいから、うん、明日も生きていこうと思ってもらえるような作品を作りたいなといつも思っているので、まあそれは社会に影響させたいけど、うん、でもとりあえずは目の前にいる一人を見ようと思ってます。She would like to think that absolutely yes, but she's always thought that even if one person who watches her films feels like okay, now I can get through tomorrow, I can continue to live starting tomorrow again. Um, in that sense, she hopes that she's having some sort of effect on society through her films. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And uh, she already mentioned about one of the protagonists, but uh, can she also tell us a bit about the rest of the casting for the film? How did it work? えっと、今回キャスティングとして私からオファーをしたのは、えっと、ウラジンヌノさん、ファーストサマーウイカさん、あと劇中のレズビアンであると打ち明けた友役の中井智さんという3人で、他のキャストは、えっと、全員オーディ
So this is uh, located in, in a city called Koenji, just on the uh, outskirts of Tokyo. And it's a very, very unique uh, little town uh, in Tokyo. And it's especially a place where people who are trying to follow their dreams or make whatever they wanna do happen, um, it's, it's a town that really accepts them and in a way supports them. So um, in, in a good way, and, and, but in a bad way, even if you're famous or not, uh, people tend to get too comfortable there and too acclimated to live in Koenji that they won't move anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of town it is. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. And uh, can she tell us her opinion of the Japanese movie industry at the moment? Mm, um, to put it simply, she thinks it's shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Enough said. Okay, okay. <laughs> そう、私シングルで子供を育ててるんですけど、なあ、とにかく、うん、ま、すべての人、私だけじゃなくてすべてのスタッフ、キャストにとって働きにくい環境、すごく長時間労働だし、給料もすごく安いし。あ、なんかどうにかならないもんかなと思ってはいて、今同じようにこの子育てている女性のプロデューサーとどうにかして撮影時間を9時から5時、朝の9時に集合して夕方5時に解散できるスケジュールで作業作れないかということは挑戦し